everyone and welcome to a review that I didn't know I was going to be bringing to you all because I got a box from Influencer. What? I don't remember the last time. Was I still living in Boston the last time I got something from Influencer? I think it was. The CoverGirl Supersizer or something. I don't use that website a ton. Just, I don't know. I, I just don't. It's a great website if you want to get free stuff to try out. Like be it beauty, lifestyle, whatever. This is not a sponsored video. I don't even have to make this video. I just want to on this new product. You don't have to have a YouTube channel. You don't have to have it. Really, you can just be a normal, non-internet person and you can sign up for Influencer and you can see if they'll send you stuff. I mean, the more you use the website, the more likely you are to get chosen to get the Vox boxes is what they're called. So I think that's why I usually don't get any. I'll take the surveys and stuff, but I usually don't ever get selected, which is totally fine. Like I said, I think it's because I rarely ever use the website. But they did send me the Maybelline Vox box with these new Superstay Matte Ink lipsticks in them. I mean, I'm excited. I'm assuming these are super new because I haven't heard anything about them online yet. So let's go ahead and read about these first real quick and then we can get on into testing one of them out today. So like I said, these are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. These have bomb reviews. I'm wondering if that's because of the influencer boxes, but these are going to be approximately $9.49. There are 10 shades to choose from, so it looks like they've got an ultra toffee nudish. That's really Really not a toffee, more of a beige. Some mauve, some red, some orange, some pink, a purple, well, a couple purples, a few purples, that's a dark purple, and then also, ooh, that's a nice one, a nice reddish brown. And we're gonna love this, apparently, because it's gonna give us a flawless matte finish. The benefits are that your lips are going to be inked with up to 16 hours of saturated liquid matte wear. It's also got a unique arrow applicator for precise application, and to use, it looks like you just put it on like you would usually put it on. Great! So, sounds easy and everything enough. Like I said, I'm curious to see if those reviews are just because, like I said, people got sent these for free. Like, lots of people got sent these for free. When I checked my box in online, it looked like there were thousands of people that got sent out this box. But, like I said, I'm super excited to test one of these out. So, let's go ahead and sing the song together, and then we can go ahead and do just that. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. So they did send me two of the shades. Got number 15, Lover, and number 20, Pioneer. So Lover is this more mauve shade, and then Pioneer is red. I feel like you guys would want me to test out a red one because it'll show better, but like I feel like my makeup is a bit intense already. Like, do I really want to wear a red lipstick? Let's see how mauve this is if it's too close. Ooh, can you see that? That flung onto my leg. It smells great. It smells like a nice vanilla. Okay, that was a horrible swatch. But yeah, okay, wow. Wow, that is really saturated. <laughs> Holy cow. So you'll definitely be able to see that on my lips today, good. <laughs> I felt, I mean, I would have, oh my god. I feel like something very wrong happened. <laughs> Do you, like, what? I, I think it's like missing, oh my god. I think it's missing a mechanism because I can like see straight in there. Oh, that's gonna be a mess. I didn't realize how important these like white plastic things are, but it looks like maybe it got stuck in the cap. Okay, so definitely not going with the red, but just to see a swatch of Rooney. Oh, that's really sad because that looks like, oh my gosh, like a gorgeous red color. Well, I guess if I really like the formula, I'll just have to go out and buy a new one of these. So that's a bummer, but look at those shades. Super pretty, right? I'm curious to see how that dries down since it's such a thick formula. I think as you can see, I have nothing on my lips at the moment. That is about to change. I don't know how I feel about this, like, missing piece in the applicator. I think that's supposed to act as like a little well for the product. But I don't know that it's really doing anything. I mean, it is a very precise pointy applicator. This definitely hasn't dried down yet. I'm assuming it's going to. So you can see it's starting to get that stick to it, but it's got a nice rub together when you do rub your lips together initially, at least 
if you rub them together like I do. I know some people hate that, but there we go. Such a pretty color, right? Just a nice pinky mauve. It's more of like a purpley mauve. So it's starting to get that stick to it. Ah, I really hope that goes away. I mean, even right now, even though it isn't dried down yet completely, at least I don't think it is, we are getting transfer proof. We are. <laughs> Just like the softest of kisses. I don't want to disturb it too much. It definitely has a vanilla taste to it too for anyone who is curious. But also if you are curious, I don't know if you can tell, I am testing out a primer today. So this half of my face has no primer and this half does. So that's why this half of my face looks a little bit more crusty than usual and not as nice. Like I said, I don't know that that's going to translate onto camera, but camera who am I? But, so, if you want to see vloggy footage and vloggy bits and whatnot for today, definitely go ahead and check out that video. I'll have it linked up in the card in the corner here for you, or else down below, as always. It is currently 2.06 in the afternoon. I will just be checking in with you guys before and after meals, or whenever it is pertinent, if this starts flaking off or anything, and yeah, in any case, I will be seeing you all very soon here on YouTube land, and at the very end of the night, so I will see you all then. Bye! quarter to two in the morning. I'm really impressed with this stuff, you guys. Like, uh-huh. Can you see this? I had a nail appointment today. I had alcohol spritzed on my hands, you know, like a cleaning alcohol. I had lotion rubbed on my hands, oils rubbed on my hands. Well, technically on my cuticles, but overall it went all over my hands. And look at this. Like, yeah, this red one is starting to smudge, but that's also because I had layered it on there, like, really a lot. Ugh. And it's just all mucky, so I think you can tell. Don't layer these on super thick, but you don't need to. Look at this thin one. Wicky, wicky, wicky. That's not going anywhere. And it's comfy. You want to see up close? I've had most of this on all day. That reapplication I've had on for, what, five, six hours now? Like, what? What? I, and my lips feel super comfy. Like, I can definitely tell that there's like a layer on my lips. Kind of like a masky layer, but it's not uncomfortable. Does that make sense? It's very lightweight, like very, very lightweight. And I can only feel it when I'm like moving my lips. I will say this stuff is sticky. The sticky goes away over time for the most part, but can you see there's a very, very slight stick to it that kind of sticks around? Ha 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 ha! I had no idea I was so punny. Yes. The taste also goes away. Like when I lick my lips right now, it I've got no flavor. I can safely kiss myself. I can kiss my cats. I can kiss whatever the heck I want. I'm not leaving lipstick behind. I'm so impressed with this stuff. I'm so bummed about this red one. I mean, whatever, big loss. I'll just have to go out and actually buy one but I'm super interested in trying out the other colors. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys know by now, or if you're new to my channel, I just wanna let you know, like, getting things sent to me as PR, like, is this considered PR? I mean, either way, sent to me for review for something does not affect my review in the slightest. Influencer, especially, like, they're the one platform, I think, maybe, I think Octoly might say this too, but, like, they want you to be 100% honest. Like, they are very strict about you saying, these opinions are my own, just closure all over the board. Like, they're really good about that. So you guys don't have to worry. Like, I'm not lying to you. Like, I can't make this up. Like, no crumbling, no fading, super comf- Like, I'm just, I'm actually in awe right now that I think one of, if not 
my favorite liquid matte lipstick is at the drugstore. Like, I, am I really saying that right now? <laughs> Plus, it layered over itself really nicely. I was really scared since this does have like that kind of a masky type feeling to it. I was scared that once I reapplied on the inside part of my lips after dinner, I'm sorry, I forgot to vlog my actual dinner. I did, <coughs> I did a mukbang tonight. So I was eating P.F. Chang's. It was greasy, let me tell you, and even then I just had that little bit of wear off on the inner portion of my lips, and then I was able to reapply over itself. That didn't make it crumbly, it didn't make it weird and thick and nothing. Just... Look at... I can't. So, I'm pretty sure this is gonna get a really good rating from me on my pause scale. I think you've seen videos now where I have revised what my pause stands for. It really, it all stands for the same things, pretty much, except the lettering is kind of switched around. It still spells pause. Let me explain. One of you suggested this and I thought it was a great idea. So for P, instead of price, we are doing performance. And then for W, which used to be where, we're making that worth the price. Does that, it makes so much sense. This viewer, you guys are just so smart. So P stands for performance, A is for application, W is for worth the price, and S is for shade range. It's gonna take me a while to get used to saying that, but for performance, 100%, fantastic. Like I have absolutely, well, that's a lie. That's a lie, the stickiness. The stickiness is a thing. It's one of those things where like, if your lips are at rest and then you go to say something, they do stick together. So I do have to take a little bit off for that, but it is so, like I can get over it. For everything else, I can get over it. It is annoying. So I'm gonna give it a four on the performance, which I just, that feels so wrong. But I think, you know, it's a thing that we should note and take into consideration because it's annoying. So, okay, giving it a four out of five there. For application, it went on really nice. I had no problems with the application that I can remember except for that red one. I mean, just that was the packaging though. That was a packaging flaw. So for application, I have to give it a five out of five. For worth the price, absolutely. For a little under 10 bucks, or I'm sure with tax, it's probably at $10 or a little above $10. So worth the price. For this kind of a long wearing, comfortable matte, like five out of five for sure. And then for shade range, I've got to take a look at it in store. From what I saw online, it was a decent shade range, you know, for a new product, 10 shades, and it seemed like they had a couple nudes, a couple reds, a couple pinks, a couple purples. So I think, you know, there's some wiggle room to expand, but I don't think it was horrible. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 4 out of 5 on that. So overall, that is an 18 out of 20 or a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I feel bad giving it that, but I think it's because, you know, the stickiness lingers. I would say for like the first three or so hours after application but like now that it's been you know five six hours it's really not bad and so I'm like oh I feel bad giving it that score but then I'm like remembering earlier today how annoying that stick was so I'm gonna stick with this haha <laughs> again funny punny ha 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 I need to go to bed so four and a half out of five stars this stuff is awesome. I am so excited. I'm definitely going to go out and buy some of the shades. I think that red color for sure. And then I think there was like that brown one, the last one on the shade list. Oh, that looked stunning. So I'm definitely going to be checking them out. I hope you guys do too. I mean, if you want to, you don't have to. But anyways, all right. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! My eyelashes were like <laughs> touching my glasses hardcore on that one while I was saying my outro. Did you guys notice? I was trying to push through it. I don't know that I succeeded, but <laughs> all right. I went to a club, right? And um, they had no baggy pants and no sneakers. Wow, I didn't know what to think about that.